Projekt. Um, Sheikh, um, in the past I asked you about uh, the ruling eating stunned meat. And um, here, even though Germany is a Christian country, unfortunately, it is um, they mandate that the meat should be stunned before slaughtered. And there are shiurs here that they prohibit eating meat here, but there are people I know personally, they just unfortunately don't care and they just want to insist going to these restaurants like McDonald's and so. So my question is, are these people who don't care and putting themselves at risk eating this, this meat, where it could be dead meat, uh, be held accountable? Ich weiß nicht. Now, the question is, CD, to you, is when the animal is stunned, is it dead or only drowsy? Um, drowsy? Then the, 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 this is the bihan halal, 100%. Because the slaughtering took place while the animal was alive. When does the animal become haram? when the stunning causes it to die. So after it's dead, like you bang it on the head with a hammer and you killed it, or you electrify it and it's dead, then you come and slaughter it. This is nan dhabiha, this is haram, this is dead meat. But if you stun the animal or the chicken and it becomes drowsy so that's easy to handle and to slaughter, this is halal without a problem, inshallah, and I hope this answers your question.